putter of intent at the University of Rhode Island. She'll be going up against Yolisha Jackson in her first season with South Alabama. Yolisha, the one clapping on the left, three seasons at South Florida. She was an assistant here as well and scored over 1,000 points in her career at Jacksonville. So Ole Miss controls the tip, and we are underway in the Mitchell Center. Nice crowd on a Monday night. Glad to see that as an SEC team in town. Doesn't happen very often. 2018, the last time that South Alabama hosted Alabama and Auburn in the same season. First shot of the ball game is up and true by Madison Scott and Ole Miss on the board early. Starters for South Alabama, Zena Elias, Micaiah Simmons, Nadia Howard, Keedy Anderson, and Jordan Rozier. Now, you will notice Zena Elias always number one until tonight. She's wearing number eight. She actually came out. There's a whistle and a foul and a moving screen on Micaiah Simmons. Starters for Ole Miss, they're going to go Marquisha Davis, Snutta Collins, Taya Singleton, Madison Scott, and Rita Igbakwe, the starting five for the Rebels. Ole Miss on top, 2-0. They'll go inside once again. We'll see that a lot tonight. Nice dish off the glass and in, and Ole Miss on top, 4-0. Important possession here for South Alabama, Pat. Ole Miss converts at a high rate when they have the ball in their hands. They've scored on their first two possessions. You need points the other way. And Ole Miss is not a team that's going to shoot a lot of threes with the size. Why would you? They can go inside and cause some issues. And defensively, you see Rita Igbakwe affecting Zena Elias's shot. And that goes out of bounds. Last touch by South Alabama. And already a substitution as we will see Kelsey Thompson. Kelsey Thompson coming off the bench, but she's a quick game changer, so she figures she needs it early. Coming off a screen from Anderson, fadeaway jumper short. And Bakway and Ole Miss gets the rebound. They're pushing it up the court quickly. As Tyus Singleton, the bucket and one. And back to the Mitchell Center as Tyus Singleton gets out to Anderson outside. The 18-footer, no good. That's not the shot they want from Keating Anderson. It's not, Pat. And there was contact into the hands of Anderson as the ball went away. No whistle. This has been a very, you know, we're not going to call it unless it's blatant kind of game. Blocked from Zena Elias, but goes right back to Ole Miss. Awfully pleased with the way her Rebels have played here early on in the Mitchell Center in Mobile. Thompson outside the arc for three, no good. Burks there with a rebound and the putback which I'm good as long as that's the way it's going to be called the entire game. Right, I just want to see you keep the same energy. And looking at that, there may have been a couple of extra steps in there. I'm not arguing the call of a jump ball, but almost got the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Meantime, a senior from Indian Head, Maryland, second-team All-SEC last year, six-time freshman of the week in the SEC. Micaiah Simmons. Gets it to Kelsey Thompson. Thompson with a little give and go to Elias. That's pretty basketball. The Jags. A drive by Marquisha Davis. No good. Rachel Leggett comes away with the basketball. Kelsey Thompson was flashing. Rachel Leggett didn't see her. She'll take it herself. Get her own rebound. Amani Burks with a chance, and she drains it. Maybe start to see a little confidence coming in this South Alabama program. Went down 10 0 early, but now it's 12 6. Jags trying to get something done on the defensive end. Anaya Thompson will drive left side. It's to go to the free throw line for the first time this year. The sophomore guard from DeSoto, Texas. Last year, a four star player coming out of Texas, the number eight player in the state when she graduated high school. Second of two is good. This ball up and down the court. Thompson. Has it rejected by Igbakwe, and here comes Ole Miss. Two on two, shot no good. Keedy Thompson goes high for the rebound, and now South Alabama running the other way. Rachel Leggett trying to complete the shot. Gets pushed to the ground, no call again. A block by Ole Miss, and again, it's Igbakwe playing some great defense for the Rebels. Other end, Marquisha Davis, a whistle and a foul. Played three years at Arkansas, then McGee, Arkansas. Second free throw is good. Shot clock is off as we wind down toward the end of the first quarter.
Thompson under pressure, fade away, good. Kelsey Thompson, her first bucket of the first quarter, and that'll end it. Most wins against what SEC team? You know, Pat, I'm going to take a guess at Mississippi State. Ole Miss Rebel fans will be happy to know, yes, hey, it is there we Mississippi go. State. It. Jags have beaten the Bulldogs six times in their history. In fact, the only SEC teams that South Alabama has not played, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Vanderbilt. Their last win over an SEC team at home for South Alabama, Ole Miss in 2010. Jags trying to come from behind here, and how about the swat from Snutta Collins? My goodness, what a play. Snutta Collins, not among the block's leaders. You got Davis with seven. Does it reset with the quarter? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it should be South Alabama basketball, but nobody noticed it, so Ole Miss will take advantage. Madison's talking to the Ole Miss people. They said, look, this is not going to be your pretty ball game by any stretch. That's how they're learning to play with each other at this point. And it's Keedy Anderson will get the rebound in the final. So we've seen some zone from, ja from the Jags. They're back to man-to-man -to -man now. Actually, in area two, talking about those second chance points, South Alabama, nine. And Todd Williams at the free throw line. Ole Miss, seven for seven from the free throw line until that. CC last year at North Carolina drains that second one there. Simmons coming the other way. Outside the leg, three-pointer on the way and good. And the Jags have cut it to six. Pat, she has been deadly from outside the arc at home. First three she's taken tonight and drained it. Jags now one of five outside the arc. Ole Miss one of six. Both teams shooting south of 25% from the field. And that's a nice runner. South shooting 24. Almost a turnover. Elias comes up with the rebound. Rebels with an eight-point lead trying to extend it. Collins no good. How about the effort offensively from Kennedy, Todd Williams. Come on. These two will make it 11. South Alabama has yet to get to the free throw line. Kennedy, Todd Williams, good. And I mean, that's the one common thread between the losses for Ole Miss. Three losses so far this year. One to Southern Miss, of course. The loss to top 25, Louisville as well. Only has one point, but defensively has been fantastic. Leggett driving left side, whistling a foul, and Leggett here as a freshman coming off a game where she had six points in the win at Southeastern Louisiana last Friday night. First of two is good of Mobile. Second of two can't get the roll inside to Richardson. Shot clock at five from the free throw line. Back of the iron, no good. Oh, what a sky for Marquisha Davis. Can't get the put back, but Davis will go to you figure that, that issue defensively. They're among the best I've seen, for sure. Yeah, Pat, you mentioned how the defense has stepped up for them in back-to-back -back games to less than 50 points, then turned around and did it a third time the following week to Arkansas Little Rock. From the field, but if their shooting comes around, their defense is there. Yeah, Pat, we I mentioned those three games. They weren't blowing anybody out offensively on the other end there either. From the charity stripe, one of two. Simmons, an 81% free throw shooter. First of two is good. Digits right now. That lead, if you can just chip away at it, chip away at it, chip away at it. With basketball being a game of runs, all of a sudden you get hot at one point. This is a tied ball. And South Alabama will control down 10. A chance to cut it to eight, maybe seven. We go outside to Kelsey Thompson, and it was last touched by Thompson on the turnover. That was a golden opportunity for South Alabama to make a three-point trip down the court, maybe a four-point trip, but instead turns into a turnover. They're seventh. Nice drive by Marquis. Simmons hounded by Davis defensively. Picks up her dribble, gets it to Kelsey Thompson. Under three to go. To go Amani Burks flashing to the basket. Up and under from a Burks. No good. Rebound. Rebels out. Rebounding South Alabama, 16-11. Anytime there's those blue jerseys under the net, Pat, they've done such a good job of boxing out South Alabama on the glass. The Rebels will shoot from three-point range, but that's not their bag. They like to go inside. You've seen them pass up a lot of open threes. Kennedy Todd Williams can't get the roll, but offensive rebound and foul trouble. Elias with three. Anderson with three. 
So an already undersized South Alabama team in this respect. And she's really affecting what the Rebels want to do in the in the lanes right now. She's and you see that rotation by Coach McPhee McEwen getting a lot of fresh legs in, and that will wear down any team. We've seen 10 players play for Ole Miss so far tonight. Nice dish inside as Simmons gets it to Burks. And Burks now with six. She leads South Alabama second in the game and scoring behind Davis, who's got seven. Three-pointer is not going to count. As led by as many as 13, South Alabama trying to cut it to single digits here. Minute and a half to go, first half. Simmons to Howard to Burks. Open shot. Amani Burks knocks it down again. That's eight for her. That's the most she's had in a half this season for South Alabama. Well, she has certainly stepped up from where she was this time last year. She's got nine blocks coming in. She was injured in the 21-22 season. Got a chance to play in 27 games last year. So shot clock under 10. Micaiah Simmons working around Todd Williams. Loose ball picked up by Kelsey Thompson. Simmons got to shoot it and did not get it. So Ole Miss will milk the clock. Hard screen up top. They'll go from outside the arc. Collins for three. No good. <laughs> Nadia Howard had pulled down one of the Rebels. No whistle as the shot was after the buzzer anyway. And so a rough first half for both teams. A lot to look forward to, a lot to look up to as we near conference play. Third quarter is underway. Jags down by 12. They've been down by as many as 13. But you're right, though. Take away that 10-0 run. This is a very different ball game. Petey Anderson working with three fouls, goes right side, gets the bucket and one. She can make a run happen all on her own. Igbakwe called for the foul. Anderson's free throw is short, but that's the type of call that South Alabama wasn't getting in the first half. Not sure if that's going to be indicative of what happens here in the second half. We may see more whistles, maybe not. You never know. There was no whistle. Down 10, trying to make it a single-digit ball game. Simmons. Outside to Leggett. She already has one three. She has two threes. Rachel Leggett. It's a seven-point ball game. Closest South Alabama has been since it was 7-0. Ole Miss right before they made it 10-0. Davis trying to extend the lead. Can't get it to go. Rebound. And a putback is up and in by Tyus Singleton. Shot clock already down to six. Simmons driving right side. No good. Rebound pulled down by Igbakwe and Ole Miss. A good sign for South Alabama, too. A couple of times when you tried to set those screens in the first half. Nice dish inside. There was unnecessary contact by the Jags. It drew some whistles. You look at it. Simmons, a great job of just kind of stepping away there. She says, I'm not going to take an unnecessary foul. I'm going to keep this ball in our hands. Thompson trying to find some space. Gets the fadeaway jumper. That's a nice shot by Kelsey. Fourth point of the night for Kelsey. She's now two for ten from the field. And Thompson's a player for South Alabama that they were depending on a lot last year. It's a true freshman. And I think the way that Yolisha Jackson has restructured the offense, kind of taking a lot of pressure off Thompson. She's not the only focus. She is a focus, but not the only one that South Alabama has. Meantime, Madison Scott, she likes that three-pointer. Madison Scott makes it a 38-26 ball game. And Scott starting to come alive out of the half for Ole Miss. We knew one of these teams had to break through, right? You're not going to shoot 25% for that's the whole true. game. And Madison Scott, that's her first three of the year. She was 0 for 2 prior to that shot. And a quick second, uh, quick start to the second half. Nice dish They're inside. They're going to play you hard. Tonight, yeah. No exception. Todd Williams trying to get the rebound. No go, but a third opportunity now for Ole Miss as Marquisha Davis able to come out with it. Williams outside to Davis, three-pointer, no good. Good positioning inside by Ole Miss. Igbakwe, no good. She'll get another opportunity. Left-hander is good, has four, and it's 40 to 28. Well, Pat, anytime you let somebody take four shots, one's bound to fall, and South Alabama's going to make a change now. Zeno Elias went down the scorer's table, maybe a little bit of help on that rebounding game. 
Petey Anderson in the ball game right now with three fouls. Zena Elias will check in. She has three fouls as well. That's Anderson inside, getting it to Simmons. Double teamed along the baseline. That leaves Petey Anderson open in the three. So under five here in the third quarter. Todd Williams working on Kelsey Thompson. She'll get a lane, no good, but the rebound put back up and in by Igbach. And the Jags pushing the issue. Rozier, one of the three, wasn't open. Gets it to Thompson. Thompson, nobody stopped her. Nice drive by Kelsey Thompson. Or busted lip or something. Referees haven't seen it. Zena Elias wearing the number eight jersey tonight. And she got a little elbow to the mouth as Todd Williams. Two minutes, 40 seconds and counting here in the third quarter. Nice steal defensively by Ole Miss. They went coast to coast, and it's Marquisha. Disrupt, and that's how you do it. A whistle and an offensive foul. I think it wasn't set. They've been calling that one all night. Davis to a wide open Collins. Three-pointer on the way and good. Snutta Collins, her second three-pointer. And Ole Miss now with their biggest lead, 47-32. And if there's a shooter you can't turn loose for the Rebels, it is Collins. Looks like Rachel Leggett just lost her there defensively down underneath the basket. Collins averaging just a shade under 12 points a game. Only has six tonight. But I've looked awfully good on those three-pointers. Rozier trying to get it to Leggett. Nothing doing. Oh, whistle and... Can't fault the effort, though, by Kelsey Thompson. As Ole Miss. The 15-point lead, trying to make it more. Davis, nice move, nice floater. He thought about the three. Severely undersized there. <laughs> Taya Singleton at 6-2 was dwarfing Nadia Howard. And Ole Miss comes up one second on the clock. Collins for three, in and out, no good. So we play. International player, Avliash, has some pro experience. Also spent some time playing for her international team back in Serbia. So we've seen a lot of non-fouls on a lot of bodies flying. That was a touch foul up top. But either way, how about Rachel Leggett on that it's end? Home versus away point average is almost a five-point difference. Leggett looking for point number 12 was right there on the edge of the restricted circle. Both feet were planted and in the air. Uh, Jordan Rozier. Collins, her first trip to the charity strike today. It's good. Out of Brookhaven High School, coming off a 14-point performance against Mississippi Valley State. Last time out. Makes both free. She was our impact player, and they've done a pretty good job defensively on her. Nadia Howard, turnaround jumper is short. Thompson battling for the rebound. Last touch. At a player that was already established out of bounds, but I think Thompson may have stepped out of bounds herself before she did it. Town Williams drains the 16-footer. 18 is the largest lead for Ole Miss. They've got a 17-point lead now. Thompson driving the lane off the glass and in. Nice job by Thompson. Ole Miss looking for the answer on the other end. Short, but Marquisha Davis offensive rebound. She'll go to the free throw. A couple of people with three fouls as Davis trying to add to her point total. Free throw on the way, no good. But able to get her own rebound and a foul. So 54-37, just over seven minutes to go in the ballgame. Ole Miss has led from the start. Nice entry pass inside and Igbakwe. Rozier still looking for her first point. Gets a screen from Elias. Trying to get the entry pass in. Knocked away by Mariah Noel. And the shot is good. As Keedy Anderson able to make it happen. How about the steal from Kelsey Thompson? Can't get it to go. That was one on three. Kelsey Thompson with a good defensive play, but can't get it to fall. As Todd Williams will go the other way. Whistle and a charge. I'm a little bit surprised there was a whistle. Anderson, his bodies fly again. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Igbakwe and Ole Miss. Kennedy Todd Williams. As Ole Miss starting to take some air out of it here. She'll drive the lane over Micaiah Simmons. That'll be a whistle and a foul. Of course, in Monty Burks with four, you don't want to bring her out just yet. 
Yolette McPhee McEwen. They call her Coach Yo. Yolisha Jackson for South Alabama. They call her. And now the Jags on the run. Makaya Simmons one on two. She'll take it anyway, just on the other side of the free throw line. Richardson out to Oblius. No good. But another offensive rebound, and now a foul on the floor. Pamani Burks was really the worker bee for that South Alabama offense. Everybody else stood up. Keedy started to and then stayed seated. Elias with the rebound off the missed free throw, 59-41. Just north of two minutes. Micaiah Simmons for three, no good. Rebound by Richardson. So Ole Miss will improve to eight and three. South Alabama will drop to seven and four. Noel from three-point range. I have to ask you, though, speaking of that doubleheader game, producer Tyler was telling us it's the ugly Christmas sweater game. Are we going with ugly Christmas sweaters for the broadcast? You, you can do whatever you want. Micaiah Simmons trying to get it to Zena Elias. Good steal by Richardson. And she'll lead the point. Richardson taking it all the way. Bodies fly everywhere. And see, all my basketball coach told me was I've never seen anyone worse at going up and down the court. <laughs> trying to get it to Simmons. Rozier throws it away. And now the shot clock is off. 28 seconds left. Ole Miss will improve to 8-3 and three with Arkansas Pine Bluff on the road next. South Alabama will drop to 7-4 and four as Louisiana Tech will come into the Mitchell Center Thursday at 1 o'clock. So Ole Miss making no attempt at the basket. South Alabama making no attempt to defend it. And the two Coach Yo's will meet at center court. They're good friends, and I think we're going to see a lot more of these two teams playing each other, which I think is fantastic. As Coach Yolette McPhee McEwen will get the win. Coach Alicia Jackson in her first season for South Alabama will take the loss. Jacks fall to 7-4.